Yeah, Sunday night football, great matchup. Seahawks and the Patriots, bad spot for Seattle off the short week and the emotional win Monday night against the Bills. Pats are 7.5, 48.5 the total. Patriots also off the bye. That helps. More time for Brady. He's got his two big tight ends. And look at this. Look who came back and was lighting up in practice. Deion Lewis, another weapon for Tommy. Yeah, but I mean, when it comes to freshness, this game is about as big a disparity as you're going to find in the NFL. We have the Patriots coming off a bye week. Okay, Patri uh, Tom Brady hasn't thrown an interception since his return. He's thrown 12 touchdowns, 134 attempt. Uh, the Pats are uh, three away uh, from an all-time uh, team record uh, with uh, 252 passes without an interception. He's got a, uh, Brady's got a QB rating of 133.9. The all-time all single-season rest in his record, 122.5 from Aaron Rodgers in 2011. So at some point, there has to be some regression from Tom Brady. Or does there? Because, you know, it's not just Gronk and Bennett. You know, uh, those two clear out the defense for James White. Now you bring Deion Lewis into the mix. And they're coming off a week in which they got to work on everything. The Seahawks are on the way other end of the spectrum when it comes to freshness. I mean, it's not even close when you look at what's happened for Seattle in their last three ballgames. We're talking about a team that's tired and facing a short week and travel. Yeah, look at this graphic. The plays and the minutes. Cardinals, on defense on the field, 90 plays, 46 minutes. Saints, 72 plays, 36 minutes. The Bills, 82 and 40 minutes. A total of 244 plays, 122 minutes. The average is 193 and 90 minutes. That's the equivalent of 17 more plays per game, which is over two full possessions. Yeah, and there's a matchup problem here as well. I mean, they get an edge when Richard Sherman is able to shut down a number one receiver. But Sherman is kind of wasted here because the Pats don't have a number one. They've got two tight ends who have to be double covered over the middle. Uh, so while Sherman is such an effective defender and shutting down the elite wide receivers, I wouldn't be surprised at all if the New England game plan take him out of the equation, which is really, I mean, that's something that only Bill Belichick and company can find ways to do. Although... It is worth noting, Russell Wilson, he's getting healthier. Last week, he threw the ball really well. He ran the ball a little bit for the first time. And if, if he can add that run dimension and create balance on offense, which is getting nothing for the running backs right now, there's a chance here that Seahawks may be able to trade some points with that potent New England offense. Though Belichick, uh, sorry, Belichick off a bye, pretty strong track, I believe 12-4 and four, uh, ATS. And frankly, if you look at his record in all games with extra time to repair, you're not allowed to bet Seattle in this one. <laughs> hey guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. So we're giving you picks every day, and you're probably making your own as well. Be sure to participate in SBR's weekly Twitter bankroll challenge. Just post your picks on Twitter with at SBR Sports Picks and the hashtag bet SBR before 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every day, Monday through Friday. We'll be betting your picks, and if the bankroll is positive at the end of the week, you could win the profits. Picks must be of events taking place that day and available in at least one of the major sportsbooks shown in our Best Sportsbooks page.